Hello crafters. Welcome to my live. I am an hour earlier in case uh, you guys didn't see that. I'll let you guys pop on here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go share over here. Let's see here. Give you guys a minute to pop on here. Okay, so I went ahead and shared. I'll let you guys get on here a little bit. Let me make sure we're back there. My son used my video stand. Hi, Diane. And it's all messed up. Hi, Donna. Okay, I think that's good. <laughs> so I, I was trying to arrange it beforehand, but I just didn't have time. So hi, guys. Um, thank you guys for joining me an hour earlier. Um, if in case you guys don't know who, well, I know you guys know who I am, but, um, when I share this video, my name is Christine Dam. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I've been a demonstrator for five years now. I love every second of it. Oh, hi, Deb. Oh my goodness. You haven't, oh, it's Deb, you're here. You haven't been on in forever. I know because you haven't felt good. I'm so happy to see you here. Um, so I've been enjoying every step of the way with Stampin' Up. It's fun. You can be a hobby demo. You can be a business, you know, take it into a business. Um, I just love it. It's so much fun. And the best part about it is the products, their quality, their um, coordination. So I'm going to show you a card today. Speaking of the coordinations, um, it's, it's just such a great card. Well, I think it's a great card. I made it, but um, but a few things I want to talk to you guys about. I'm going to share with you guys. There's a new catalog coming out. It seems like there's a new catalog coming out like every couple of months, and I think there is, but it's so much fun. There's a bunch of new stuff coming out. I think you guys are going to love it. Um, Stampin' Up! always gets the catalogs right. I don't know how they do it. They, they find out what's on trend. I don't know. They, they just get it right, so... This catalog is super cute. I can't share the catalog with you until um, you guys get to see it. I think it's January 3rd, I think, is when it comes out. I have it down here, but I'm not going to show you guys. Um, January something. Let's see. Well, maybe some one of you guys know. I can't, I don't know what the, oh, it's January 4th. January 4th it comes out. So if you guys want the new catalog, just let me know. Um, any customers of mine, thank you, Deb, January 4th. Any customers of mine um, will automatically get the catalog in the mail, and it's awesome. You guys are going to love it. So I'm going to share some of the products with you, and then I'm going to um, share with you a super cute card. So I'm on here an hour earlier than normal. Usually it's 7. We're, me and the family are going to go see the new Ghostbusters movie, so that's why I did come on an hour earlier. So I I was like, I'm not going to cancel. I love doing the lives. Um, so the card today is a, it's not, it's kind of a fun fold card. Um, you guys will see it. I'll, I'll, you know, show you guys in a minute. But my card classes, I do them every two weeks. I have actually a tag kit this month. Um, the rest of this month so from now until um, November 30th any order you place with me and you use the current host code which I'll show you once I point the camera down um, and that can be found at my website at all times um, you can also look at my Facebook page and you'll find the host code just use that with any order under $150 and you will get this um, tag kit in the mail to you it's a whole bunch of blank tags over 20 plus tags there's a bunch of little goodies in there so you can decorate it you're going to get some christmas dsp and some other goodies in there and you just create whatever you want in your tags um you know use all your products buy some new products whatever you need to do to create but it's a lot of fun and if you do spend 150 dollars at my shop don't use the host code you'll get your own rewards and you'll get the tag kit from me and I also am offering the, you can buy the tag kit outright from me. Just message me and I will send you an invoice and you can purchase that. This is only good till the end of November. And then December, I'm taking the month off. It's a busy month, so no classes or anything, but I will continue in January. And um, I already have an idea of a class I want to do in January. So there's that. And then um, 
I think that's it. Oh, the joining the team until the end of November. If you join my team, it is $75 right now, Stampin' Up! is offering, and it's um, $125 worth of products. You get to pick what you want in your starter kit. Free shipping. You get business supplies. Um, I think there's a paper pumpkin kit in there. It's up to $125 worth of products that I said that, like I said, you guys get to pick out free shipping. And then they add in um, a bunch of business supplies. And I think it's like $175 total. So it's such a super good deal. Um, and you can use clearance stuff. You know, you can get whatever you want in that um, starter kit. So anyways, if you guys want to join my team, I would love it. We have a great time here in, on my team. We have a lot of fun and I do a lot of amazing. Yes, it's such an amazing deal, Deb. I love it. They stamp it up just they just gave us such a great deal this month so um i urge anybody to take advantage of that and um it's fun so anyways i'm gonna point you guys down because i want to get into all the stuff that all the fun stuff i got in the mail we get to do a if you went to on stage which is kind of like a um big stampin convention it's a lot of fun and we get our awards and all that stuff they've done in virtual um the last two years which was awesome for me because I was able to attend them and if you attended you got to do a oh you guys are so awesome um thank you guys um so if you went to on stage you get to view the new catalog early and you get a product premiere package of stuff that you could order so I got my order in yesterday so I'm going to share with you some of that stuff let me flip you guys down let's see Oh, I'll flip you upside down and then I'll flip you down. There is, oh, yeah, seasick. There is the current host code. So that host code, like I said, is valid. Oh, hi, Amy. How are you? Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Um, this host code is valid till the end of the month. And then I'll put a new host code up for December. Even though I'm not doing any classes, I will be still giving away something for the month of December whenever you use the host code. So I have all this stuff over here. Let me show you guys. I can't show you the catalog, but I can show you the front cover of the catalog. So beautiful. Um, this, you know, will be a clue as to something inside. So you guys, like I said, as soon as I can order these, I'm going to order them and then I'm going to get them out to you guys. It'll probably be like mid December or so. Um, so maybe a little later than that. it just depends on when I can get my order in. I'm on the East coast and it takes about a week to a week and a half for me to get any order that I place with Stampin' Up. So, but let me bring in some of these goodies. Okay. So ugh, I got a whole bunch of stuff here. Let me start with our paper. Let me put this down here. So this paper here is the um, Sweet Talk paper. I haven't even opened any of it. So let me see if I can open this. This you can order in a sweet. It's, um, I think it's the, it's ooh, Sweet Talk Sweet. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in the sweet that you can get. So this is, this is actually going to be my first class. I'm going to do my first class with this whole sweet section. So I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, those are little lollipops. I haven't even seen this paper yet. How cute. Very valentine -y. Look at that. Oh, that one's cute. And then I'll flip it over. Ooh, purples are in here. Ooh, ah, look at that. <laughs> So of course, you know, you do have the, the back side. A lot of times, um, one side of the paper is definitely holiday themed or, you know, spring themed. And then the back side of the paper usually is very versatile. So, I mean, there are some pieces in here. Obviously there's hearts and stuff, but, oh, that's so pretty. So that is the, what was it again? <laughs> Sweet talk paper. So, and then the other paper that you can purchase is 
this one here is called the Heart and Home. So it has um, honeybees, which I'm a sucker for any of the honeybees or ladybugs or anything like that. So this paper looks like it feels like there's a texture to it, um, but it's not. But it looks like the minute you touch it, you would feel like it would be bumped up or something. It's just crazy how detailed they get that. So there's that. Look at how pretty, you guys. S summer or spring, spring, it screams spring. Is it sad that I'm already looking forward to spring? Oh, I like that one. This paper, I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. But this paper really looks like it feels like it should be uh, bumpy or textured. Um, yes, Deb, very good. Um, I forget about that. You can get this paper as part of your starter kit on December 1st because we get to do a pre-order. And if you join the team, you would be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you can put any of the new stuff in your... Um, your starter kit. I, I always forget that. Here's the backside. Wood grains. Ooh, I like this. I see many, many things I can do with this. Very um, versatile, you know. Look at that. It's all wood grains. Very pretty. So those two were papers we were able to actually purchase. Let me set them aside. And then... I'll bring out the stamps. So this is the stamp set with the um, Sweet Talk Sweet. So that there, um, you've got all these cute little, it's a photopolymer one. So you got all these cute little hearts and designs here. So I like that one. And this also has dies that you can coordinate with it. Where are them dies? right here so let me open these bad boys up yeah that's um a great point deb you can't if you join my team you can get this stuff december 1st otherwise if you're a customer you have to wait until january 4th so here are the little dies the little tag this turns into a little like envelope so cute so, like I said, this is going to be my first class in January. Um, I already have some ideas spinning around. So, that is the die set that you can coordinate. You can buy the die and the stamp together, bundle it, and save 10%. Or you can buy the whole suite of stuff. So, let me just put these back. And then... We have... This is another part of the um, Valentine's. We've got all these awesome sentiments. I love the fonts. Just great fonts on here. These are great for wedding, you know, marriages, anniversaries. I, congratulations. I never seem to have enough of the wedding or anniversary stuff. Oh, thank you, Deb. I try to be creative. Donna, can't wait for this class. You've been a big supporter of my classes, Donna. Diane, too. Yeah, I can't wait to see what I'm going to create. I love creating. Of course, if I didn't like creating, I don't think I'd be in this business, right? And then here's the honeybee stamp set. Look at these cute little bees. Oh, I love them. Then the little flowers. And then some awesome sentiments on here. And then this one is a cling stamp, so you've got your clings. I know some people prefer photopolymer, and they don't like the clings, and some people prefer the clings. I like both of them. I think they both have their advantages. So I'm trying to find the dies. So I got the dies that went with this. So this is the Honeybee Blooms dies. I wish I could have ordered everything, but you know, money kind of stops you from doing that. So this cuts out the flowers um, in here. And then it looks like you've got the bee outline. So 
right there. I haven't played with it, so I'm not really sure, but it looks like it's mostly all the outlines. And then you have the, that one looks like, that doesn't cut out the stamped, but these two cut out the stamped ones. So that's going to be fun to play with. That's another one that I'll probably have a class with. Oh, hi, Dawn. Thank you so much for joining me live. I'm usually on at 7. Um, this is a exception this week because, like I said earlier in the beginning, which you probably missed, was um, me and the family are going to go see the new Ghostbusters movie. So I had to start this a little early this week. So let's see. What else do I have here? Oh, this, I think this went, this is a um, bouquet of love embossing hybrid embossing folder. I think you can pair this with the anniversary sentiments. Let me just double check on that. Where's my catalog? I don't know where I put the catalog. I didn't go far. I didn't even move. Let's see. Well, I can't find the catalog, which is crazy because I didn't move. I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> where did I put it? Anyways, I think this goes with this love and happiness um, stamp set, if I'm not mistaken. But I may be mistaken. Yes, definitely priorities. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see it. So this guy here, let's see if I can open it. So this is the bouquet of love dies. Oh, I think it was just the, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the catalog well enough because I just got it and I haven't really been able to study it. But there are those dies and it's supposed to be a hybrid folder. I haven't even shown you guys the cute card we're going to make tonight either. It's really quick, so... Okay, so here's the folder. Oh, that's such a pretty folder. Look at that. How can I? There we go. How do I open it? So you can put your little, this guy, your little die right in there. And you can do the embossing and the die cut at the same time. These hybrid folders are really neat to play with. Um, I think, how many, are, how many do we have, the hybrids? I think we only have one, don't we? Now we have two. So I'm excited about that. Maybe that'll be in with your um, my card kit when I create it. So that's pretty cool. Let me put this away so I don't lose it. I'm kind of seeing all this stuff the same time you guys are seeing it. And then what else do I have down here in my goodie pile? So, okay, so here is the Hive 3D embossing folder. So it looks like honeycomb in there. So that's pretty neat. I haven't, let's see, I know there's a glare there, you guys. There's three, Diane. Oh, thank you. I know, I like the hybrid folder. So this is cool. Um, this looks like a honeycomb little hexagons. We used to have a hexagon um, embossing folder. We don't still have that, right? <laughs> no, we don't. So this is kind of like that, but it's a lot smaller. That's really cool. That's going to be really neat to play with. And then we have the gingham embossing folder. So let's see. Let me open up this guy. Yeah, I like this, the sweet stitched hearts too. I'm a sucker for all the Valentine stuff. I don't know why, because I don't make a whole heck of a lot with it. Oh, that one's nice too. It's going to give you that nice gingham style to emboss. I like that one. So this one is not a 3D one. Um, that's just the regular shaped ones. Okay, and then what else do I have? I have, oh, and they have these guys, these matte dots, which are um, white, well, basic white. You've got your vanilla, you've got 
your basic gray and basic black. So those are pretty neat. And then we have these doilies. This goes with the Hearts and Home set, which is the honeybee set. So you have, um, I don't know what colors they are. Let's see. Does it say? It doesn't say. I'd have to look it up. But it looks like they're the cinnamon cider colors. Cinnamon cider we have. We have, I don't know if that's basic gray or smoky slate and then we have the blue which is misty moonlight so those are pretty cool the well hopefully the b items will be available when you guys can order on january 4th amy or if you join my team on december 1st you can start ordering that stuff um, I know Stamping Up is having issues with their uh, shipping along with everybody else in the whole wide world. Um, as of right now, everything seems okay. So I'll keep you guys updated on December 1st, or not December 1st, January 4th when you guys can order what you can. Right now, Amy, if you join my team, you could get that set um, on December 1st. These are sweet little boxes. These are, I ordered one of the sweets and these are little boxes, little treat boxes. They already come with the glue on them. Oh, I like that. So you can just fold them up, kind of put them together. You can, you get the idea of how they go. So you get, how many of these guys? Uh-oh. We get 10 of these sweet little boxes. So those are nice, and I like that they're already pre-glued for you. All you have to do is fold, peel the sticker off, and then fill with your goodies. And then what else do I have? Oh, I have these guys. These guys are really pretty, too. The iridescent rhinestones. Basic jewels, so those are pretty. And then I have two ribbons that I purchased, which is uh, real red. So there's that one, and then we have the, what is this one? Um, denim. Trying to find the, I don't see, oh, it's right in front of my face. <laughs> denim ribbon, three eighths. So that one's really cool. So that is it for everything that I ordered. I think there was more stuff to order, but I just couldn't you know, order it. Um, I also have credits because Stampin' Up! is the bomb and they give us credits for when we meet certain sale markers, when we get our anniversary, our team members, all kinds of things. So a lot of this stuff um, I used credit on, so I didn't spend a whole heck of a lot of money. Um, the no, the joint, the discount, the seventy-five dollars. That's only valid through the end of um, this month. So it's I don't know what do we got like a week left. Um, so you can join for seventy-five dollars, but in December it's going to go back up to the ninety-nine dollars. As far as I know, we haven't heard anything otherwise, other than this seventy-five dollar sale will be ending November thirtieth. Um, and then this is the free stuff that I got. And the nice thing about Stampin' Up, um, joining it, if, you know, if it's not something for you, you don't have to stay. You can just be done with it. You know, you can say, okay, this isn't something that was for me. I don't want to do it anymore. And just return to being a customer. Or you may join and say, wow, this is really awesome. I get all these discounts. And like what I did when I first started, I didn't have a lot of customers, but my um, best friend is into stamping. So she, me and her would, you know, she'd put orders in through me and it would help me with my, my minimums. And then, you know, I would have parties or whatever to help with the minimums. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. I like it, but I know it's got to be right for you and it's got to fit in your time frame and it's got to fit in your schedule and it's got to fit in your budget. And if it doesn't fit in, you know, those things, then it's probably not the right time for you. 
but when it is your time, you join. I wanted to be a demo like forever ago, but it just never was right. It just wasn't going to fit um, in my in my you know time frame or my budget or anything until it finally did, and now I'm one and I love it. And speaking of loving it, I love this. Isn't this the cutest little thing? Um, the little otters here. This is one of the celebration items you can get free for $50. So cute. Look at how cute this is. So um, that was one of them that I got. That was the only stamp set I got for free. And the other free items I got were papers. So, oh no, there's another stamp set. I'm sorry. This guy here is also another free one. This one is free with a $100 purchase. So you get the stamp set and you get a pack of paper, which I'll show that after this stamp set. So this is Friendly Hello. This is going to be Celebration. Um, yeah, they, they do... Stampin' Up! doesn't hold that against us. That's right, Deb. Thank you. Um, people have dropped. People have joined. You know, it's just whatever fits in your schedule. So you can, and the great thing is Stampin' Up! doesn't hold that against you. You could join and drop, you know, I don't know, a million times, I guess, in your lifetime if you wanted to, but they don't say, well, you've joined five times. You can't do it anymore. They don't, you know, if, if, if you join and you drop, then you join and you drop. This one's super cute. I like this one. It's got the little bird and the flowers. So, um, like I said, this was free with a $100 purchase. And you also get this paper, which is Friendly Hello included with it. Let me open it up so you guys. Oh, that's awesome, Don. Yeah, see? That's great. You joined um, to get the discount and you have a couple of people who buy from you, which works. Yes, I mean, it all depends on, you know, like I said, if it fits in your schedule and something you want to do, then do it. But if you don't want to do it, then don't do it. Just, you know, keep buying the stuff. So <laughs> this is the paper you get for free with this friendly hello. I haven't even looked at this paper. Does anybody else love it when you open up a pack of paper, how it smells? I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm weird. But their paper always smells so, I don't know. It smells so good. So there's the one side. And here's the other. Ooh, look at how pretty. Love it. This, to me, screams um, spring, doesn't it? I just got spring on the brain. I just want spring to get here because once spring is here, then summer's here. So then I'm happy again. Look at that. So, oh yes, you love it too, Deb. Oh good, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not silly, I guess. So that one is free with this stamp set. And then I have two more items and then we'll get going into the card. I know you guys are so patient, but I thought you guys would like to see this stuff. If this isn't something you guys like to do, just let me know in the comments and I won't go over the new stuff. But I know I've heard from other people that they love it when I can show them stuff. This is free with $50. It's Daffodil Afternoon. Um, so, oh, look at that one almost got I don't know it's got like a weird vibe to it like a maybe 70-ish vibe I don't know it's kind of cool though look at that one I like it and then here's the back side Ooh, green hearts I know. I don't know how they do it, Amy. They always get these designs on these papers like crazy. They're always so awesome. And then the last pack of paper is Sunshine in Rainbows. So this will give you a clue as to something that's in the catalog. Um, this goes with uh, one of the sets in there really well. So this is six by six. So it's rainbows. Oh, clouds. Let's see what else is in there. All clouds, rainbow striped paper, that one there, the lines. This is very fun paper. Some more rainbows. 
Ooh, I like that one. And then that, and then let me flip this one over. The daffodils are your favorite, Donna. That's pretty cool paper. I like that paper. Yeah, the, it's um pretty neat. So here's the back side. I like all the different colors. Wow, that one's cool. Look at that one. I like that one. Of course, the green, always the green one's always my favorite. And then there's the last one. So that's cool. So this one, again, is free with $50. And there's other things that are free. There's a whole bunch in the celebration this year. I love it. And that is it for all the celebration items that I got. So I hope you guys like that. Um, oh, good, Don. That's, that's, that's good to know. That's what I figure. Like, I like it to see the new stuff because then I'll know, oh, I like it. Because the in the magazine, you know, you only see a bit of it, but on the video, you get to see the whole thing. So I enjoy seeing people demo stuff because of that. But where's my card now? Okay, so you guys, this card is so much fun. I was on YouTube looking for a video to do. Um, I found this card and it's called Slide and Lock Card. Another Stampin' Up! demonstrator made this card, and I said, ooh, I have to make this card. Um, I think her name, yes, Karen Titus was her name. She create. I don't know if she created the card or not, but she had a video on how to do it. So I'm going to show you guys this card. This isn't the one we're making. This is one that I made, um, but this is the one we're actually going to make today, but I wanted to show you I made two of them. So this, look at how much fun. Slide it off, and then you open it. So there's a little, little mechanism thing here, and we'll make that. And I'll show you guys. It's easy to do. And then once you get it in there, it kind of locks your card closed. So this is from the Be Jolly. I love the set. This set is super awesome for tags. So I got this set. If you guys get my tag class, um, this is a great stamp set to go along with my tag class. This set is super fun. You color all these items, um, so much fun. So I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not, but I used the shimmery crystal effects um, on the Santa's hat. So it's hard to pick up, but I don't know if you guys can see it. It kind of gives it a little bit of a 3D effect. So, um, so that's fun. So let me show you guys. This card is so easy to make. Here's the one. I'm usually a very traditional Christmas card maker. So I'm usually reds, greens, Santas, reindeer. But for some reason this year, this whimsy and wonder suite has just want me to come back and back and back to this suite. So that's why I'm like, oh, I got to make a card with this. So let me show you guys how I made that one. Um... And again, it's the slide out one. And then on the inside, super, super cute. So, and there, you guys are going to be like, wow, that's so easy to make. So it's a gate, as you can see, it's a gate fold style. Let me put this back on here. All right. So I've pre-cut everything just to make life easier. Um, and it goes pretty quick. So let me pull out a pink, a pink, a pink piece of polished pink. So I'm going to use the scoring tool. Where did I put that? Right here. So let me get out our scoring tool. So this is a piece of A2 size, regular size, um, eight and a half by five and a half. Usually we would fold, fold it at four and a quarter to make your card, but we're going to do the gate fold. So with the gate fold, you're going to want to score this at two and um, one eighth on each side. So I've already marked it here. So I'm just going to score it here. Then I'm just going to swing this around and just score it there again. And before I put my scoring tool away, we're going to score two more things. Um, you're going to need four 
squares. Now, it depends on what size you want to make these, depending on your piece of um, thing here, your uh, doohickey thing. I don't know what you call it, the, <laughs> the slide-out mechanism. If you're going to make this smaller, then you may want to make these squares smaller, but they have to be squared. So, these are two and a half by two and a half. So you're gonna score it right down the center at one and one quarter. And you're just gonna score two of these at one and one quarter. Whoops. And that's it. So let's put this guy away. So as you can see, we're going to fold, where's my bone folder? We're going to take our bone folder. Yeah, it's, this set is so pretty. Yeah, I forgot what type of card she made. I don't think it was Christmas. It was like a couple years old, the video, or maybe a year old. And I'm like, ooh, I got to make that card. So I've, um folded that and it doesn't seem to be lined up. Did I do something wrong, you guys? Oy, oy, oy. Let me see. It always happens when you're on live. Let me make sure this is measured properly. Yeah, that's eight and a half. Hmm. Did I put those on the wrong spot? Nope, there's that one. And there's that one. Two and oh, I did put it on the wrong spot. Right? No, I put it on the right spot. I don't know why it's not like completely a hundred percent, but that's not gonna matter. Um, because as you can see with this card here, you can see the little opening, and that's no big deal. I don't know why it's not flush on there. The last cards, when I folded them, they were flush together. Anyway, so we're going to set that aside. I'm going to bring in these two pieces of basic white. Thank you, Deb. I agree. It's the folding. It's the scoring tool. Yep, we're going to blame that. Yep, exactly. So we're going to take the two that I had scored in the middle, and we're just going to give them a good crease. I'm going to Use the bone folder. I'm going to flip them open and fold the other way just so that they're really nice and um, folded there. So this part here, I'm going to take the liquid glue and you're going to take these two and you're going to glue them so that they're, they're like this. You're going to glue those two bottoms down and then these are going to be just open like this. So I'll show show you what I mean. So you want to put some glue, liquid glue. And I like to use the liquid glue because you have time to move it around. And you want to put enough. It doesn't have to be a ton, but enough on here. So I'm going to just put this on the one side here. Press it down. And I'm going to put glue on the other side. And then, nope, this way. So you're going to take the side with the glue, put it down, line it up, press that down. So this is the mechanism. Let's see. Yeah, no mistakes, just opportunities for embellishment. Exactly. Except for I can't really embellish where the card didn't fold right, but <laughs> we got the sliding thing there. Then you're going to take that last piece of um, the basic white, the square, and we're going to put some glue on that. And then this is going to go right over the top here. And that's why I like the liquid glue, because you can slide it into place and get it right even. Let that tack up for a minute. On the liquid glue is amazing. I love it. Use it on everything. Well, not everything. So that's what your little mechanism is going to look like. So we're going to set that aside, let that glue, glue up, let that dry up, and then 
I've already pre-cut my pieces of designer series paper. So these are measured. I'm going to leave the measurements in the link of the video, hopefully before I leave tonight. If not, it'll get on there by tomorrow. Um, these are measured two by five and three eighths. Yes. Yes. Two by five and three eighths. And they're going to line up nicely on the flaps here. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use the liquid glue again. go close to the edge with it. And with this DSP, it really doesn't matter which way you put it on. There's no pattern. So if you are using a pattern paper, just be aware of your pattern. So is everybody ready for Turkey Day on Thursday? Are you cooking or are you going somewhere? I'm going to my mom's. She's cooking. Well, she cooks every year, but she's having trouble with her hands now. She's, she's got arthritis really bad. So I'm going up tomorrow to help with pies and stuff. And then I'll help with the turkey dinner. And of course, the cleanup and all that. The, yes, the Whimsy and Wonder. Thank you, Deb. This is so pretty. Let me show you, Amy. I've got it over here. That's This is the Whimsy and Wonder. I have a lot of it. <laughs> Let me see. So one side has like the goal or the, the accents to it. Let me see if I can flip these over. So you've got the presents, you got that piece, um, you've got the hollies, the trees. This one I think is my favorite out of all of them, the tree ones. And then of course, and then there's the Christmas ornaments, and then you've got the back muted sides, which are really pretty too. So this paper is one of my favorites. All right, so that is the Whimsy and Wonder. So then what I've done over here is I've already cut. I used the, where are they? Right here. The Stitch So Sweetly dies. They work out perfectly and then I can layer them. So I cut one, the smaller size, with the DSP and then one with the polished pink. So I already cut them out. I love these. So the stars don't go with it. It's just these two with the Stitch So Sweetly. Um, they make great layering dies, um, tags and stuff. So, and then I used one of them and I cut out the piece of basic white with that. So let's go ahead and do our stamping. So this is going to go on the inside. So I'm using polished pink as my ink, polished pink as my ink. I'm going to take this little tree here. And I'm going to stamp that on the piece of basic white. Let's see. Let's see, so you're cooking the turkey, Diane. 19 pounds, holy cow. <laughs> you're going to be eating turkey for five years. Um, yeah, we got, I think we got a 23 pound bird for... 10 of us. So I'm just going to stamp this little tree right in the corner, just like that. And then this piece right here, um, there's a sentiment in here that says, wishing you Christmas cheer in magical moments that last all year. So let's see, where's my... So I'm going to stamp that on this piece of the stitched so sweetly. I'm going to try to get it straight. And I did not get it straight. <laughs> That's all right. That's how they know it's homemade. You can't get that kind of stuff. Well, I guess you probably could in the dollar store when you buy your cards. 
but it's not homemade. My mom is, I'll make her like the most beautiful cards and she'll be like, oh, that's nice. And she's not very sentimental. So it's just better if I just make her a plain card or I could buy her dollar store cards and she would be happy. So that's it for our stamping. The, that is polished pink, the um, ink that I use for the tree. Amy's just cooking for you, too. Yeah. All right. Yeah, my brother and my mom and the kids and everybody will be there. I'll get to see my niece and nephew. I haven't seen them in forever. It'll be fun. So, whoa, I just used a non-stamping up product, you guys. Holy cow, did you guys catch that? So I'm going to use my stamp and seal. Yes, I do have non-stamping up products that I do use. Um, I'm using my stamp and seal. I have to show you guys. So this is my advanced tape glider gun that I just used that I shouldn't have. But um, <laughs> this I use if I'm doing like mass mass quantities of stuff um you have to buy the tape online i can't find it in the the stores it's very old um so i do still keep that and i use that one be like i said if i'm doing like mass quality quantity of things um it's just something i've been used to so but i do love our tape our little tape dispensers here let's see <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I just pulled out a non-stamping up item. <laughs> so anyways, I do, um, I love these guys too. So now I'm going to take this and yes, I'm going to glue this using our stamp and seal by stamping up. I'm going to glue this on to the piece of polished pink that I have already Yeah, there are a lot worse things I could do on a live. You are correct. So now I have already cut out. I love these trees in this stamp set. Um, I cut these guys out already and I put, and I wanted to make sure they dry. This stuff will take about four to five minutes to dry this uh, shimmery crystals effects, unless you put it on really thick, which I did not, but if you put it on really thick, then it's going to take longer. If you just put um, little thin lines of it on, um, then it will take about four to five minutes. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's on there. And it kind of gives the effect that these trees have like an ice coating on them. It's really, really cool. So, yeah, I'm always doing crazy things here on this channel, aren't I? Sometimes... Sometimes I wonder about me. So I'm gonna flip these guys over and I'm gonna use the liquid glue to glue these guys down. Yeah, they, um, that shimmer effects. I've had it for a while now and I haven't played with it. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try this. I like that stuff we had last year, which we don't have it anymore. Um, I don't know what it was called, but it was like puffy paint. You put it on. And then you took the heating tool and you heated it up and then it would puff up. And I I love that stuff. I don't know what it was called though, but I used it on, I don't know, one of our snowman stamps that we had. I used them to decorate the little snowballs for on my Christmas cards last year. That was fun to play with. I like how we get different things from Stampin' Up. It's not always the same old, same old. So I have three different size trees. Um, so I'm going to take, I have the smaller, two small ones. So I'm going to put one on towards the top here. And then I've got the bigger one here. I'm going to put that right about there, I think. And then this guy here, I'm going to put right here. Let's 
So isn't that pretty? I love that. Then what's our next thing? Oh, the ribbon. So I have this frayed. I, I've already bought. This is my third row, row that I'm on. So, and I have another row. This stuff is so pretty. So I'm going to take this. This one here I used, I kind of did two and folded it. I'll show you how I did that. But I'm going to take one strip, I think. And where's my scissors? I'm going to cut it so it's just hanging over the edge on each side. So it's like this. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to start. You can start to peel it. And I'm just going to peel it. I guess peel it. I don't know. Shred it. Okay. So, so now you have all these little loose ends here. So this one, like I said, I took a longer piece. I fold in half, but I think there's it's a lot there. So I'm just gonna do like the one strip. And what should I do? Yeah, I know what I'll do. I'll do. I was going to tie it with that other little string, but I think that would be a pain in the rear end. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Stampin' Seal, kind of put it right there. And I'm going to take this ribbon, make sure it looks good, and kind of just put it on the glue there. So it looks like, like that. Isn't that cute? And then this, I'm going to pop up with some Stampin' Up! Dimensional. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Glue dot would have worked too, Deb. Yeah, isn't that cool, Dawn? I learned that, I don't know when. Watching one of, I think Sarah, the CEO, like a couple years ago, she did that with a ribbon. I'm like, huh, I never thought to do that. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on here to pop this up. These are my ends. I hope you guys never throw these out. You guys, use every piece of dimensional. Then I'm going to... We all know how I love my dimensionals. So then, this is going to get popped up here. Right there. Then you have that ribbon. I love that look coming out. So now what you're going to want to do is... Don't apply this to this. What you want to do is put your little mechanism on your card first. Easier said than done, right? Put it right on your card, slide it in the middle. Then you're going to take your stamp and seal. I guess you could use your liquid glue too. And then I'm going to make sure that's right in the center there, you know. And then I will put this on just like that. And there is your card. Slides off. And then, you know, you could also decorate the inside panels too if you wanted to. But I thought that was a fun little card. And it was super easy to make. And so there it is. I like it better with the shimmer stuff on the trees. So that's, that is my little uh, project for the day. Let me see, where's the other one? I don't know where I put my other one. Anyways, I showed you guys the Santa one. Oh, here it is. It's going to sit on it. So, and then there's the more traditional card. So there, they, you've seen how easy that was. I've been on here for an hour. Oh my goodness. I never like to do my lives an hour. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Anyways, let me flip you guys up. See? All right. Thank you guys so much for being here and joining me tonight. And I'm sorry it was an hour long. But I think the first... Hold on. Seasick here, you guys. Seasick. I think the first half an hour was all me talking about all the project or products that are coming out. So the actual card, I think, took about a half an hour. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's card tutorial. And I'll leave all that information in the link of the video. Um, oh, good. You guys didn't feel like it was an hour. Oh, good. I didn't either. It felt like it was five minutes. But um, so I'll leave all that information in the link of the video. And... 
think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for being here tonight, joining me. Um, coming here an hour early. Next week, it'll be 7 o'clock. Yes, 7 o'clock. It'll be um, same time, same place. And I will talk to you guys later. You guys all have a wonderful, wonderful, happy turkey day. Um, I hope you have lots of fond turkey memories this th Thanksgiving. And I hope you get to spend it with, you know, your family and friends and your loved ones and the ones you cherish. So thank you guys so much. I will talk to you guys um, next week, I guess. Right? Yeah, next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>